Hello everyone, it's Nathan back with another Game Pass review. Back with another Gears of War review, come to think of it. Of course, I'm talking about my previous Gears of War tactics review. If you enjoy this one, feel free to check that out at the end of the video. And while you're there, give the channel a subscribe as it does help us go a very long way. Now, it's been 9 long years since we've seen a campaign DLC from the Gears of War servers, with the last one releasing way back for Gears of War 3 in 2011 with Ram Shadow. With Coalition taking over the franchise with two mainline titles under their belt now, it's about time for that ambitious solo focused Gears expansion, but is 3 to 4 hours Hive Busters worth a download or does it fail to hit the active reload? <laughs> Was there a point to your story? Surprises. They fill me with dread and anxiety. So, right off the bat, players who have played the new escape mode in Gears 5 will have no doubt seen the main protagonists, Mac, Keegan and Lana, also known as Team Scorpio. A mode when the squad is sent to a locust hive to set and detonate a bomb from the core and try and escape with their lives. And that's as far as we know from Team Scorpio. That's until Hive Busters. It starts off with the squad meeting each other for the first time on a mission. Unable to get along and work well as a unit, it's great fun to see each member constantly bickering to one another throughout the campaign. Injected with a fair amount of backstory for each character. Without question the standout character Mac having a surprisingly heartbreaking past, brutally losing his son to the locusts, and now hell bent on a path of self destruction to take down as many locusts as possible. You'll be diving deep into Lani's family history as part of the story, adding even more interesting lore to the Gears fanbase. I have to say Keegan is interesting paired with the other two but comes across a bit too simple on his own. These aren't the only characters in High Brothers though. Making his return is OG Victor Hoffman. Seeing his character come back was great fun. After retirement, Hoffman has gone rogue creating his own operation, Hive Busters. Making her first appearance, Hoffman teams up with Hannah Cole. That's right, daughter to Austin Cole himself. Hannah is a great addition to the Gears family, and hopefully this isn't the last we see of her. Overall, Hive Busters is about Team Scorpio and their origins. With the campaign being so short, I feel it needed just one more chapter to believe the bonding aspect. They become like family far too fast, considering how much they disliked each other moments ago. Either way, the story is strong enough to match even the mainline titles of Gears of War. I'm done taking shit from you, boy. <laughs> to hell with the objective. The hell you doing? Making it count, brother. Everything you've come to know from Gears is here, lots of guns with that great amount of weight behind them, active reloads to boost damage, a tight shoot cover system, split screen, all online co-op and satisfying enemies to take down in form of the locust. It's all here but what is new is each character's abilities. Each character has a unique ability that gives you buffs to play more to your style. Keegan is based around restocking ammo for your guns planting a small radius that will keep granting you ammo the longer you or your teammates stay in. Mark lets you pull up a shield in front of you, blocking incoming bullets but still allowing you to shoot out at enemies. Lani is easily the most aggressive and fun ability of them all. For a short time you gain insane melee attacks while going ham at the enemies but kind of leaves you in the open so you have to be careful. All abilities have a small cooldown so it's encouraged that you keep using them as much as possible. A more focused optional stealth mechanic has been added to some of these chapters. Sneaking from cover to cover to perform a stealth attack, trying to eliminate as many enemies as possible before a full blown gunfight scene. It's interesting to add in new stuff like this, but the locust AI while hiding is far too stupid and too easy to manipulate at times. Outside of stealth there's a lot of different AIs to fight, but I would have liked to see more. Apart from the last boss fight, there aren't any new locusts we haven't seen from past games. It would have been awesome to see a new locust created deep within one of these hives. The levels and high buses is some of the best design and visual stunning looking out of any Gears game I've ever seen. When you're not digging deep within a hive, you're fighting through open jungles, 
old ruins and destructive crash sites set on the beach. It can also be enhanced by smart delivery for the Xbox series for players who can run up to 4K display. Gears has always been a reliable title to showcase some of the best graphics for its time and Hybusters is no different. The gameplay during some of these levels are fantastic. My favourite one is defending yourself on a broken platform while riding down a river of lava. I feel like these unbelievable crazy scenarios like this have been missed from Gears for a while and I really hope that this is more to come for upcoming titles. Hypebus is around 3 hours long depending how much you want to play. If you're like me and want to go back to collect everything, this will take up more of your time with there being two types of collectibles. With the first one being different types of items explaining more story behind the scenes. The second one being a lot more important acting as power ups for each character's abilities. I would say this is a must for veterans playing on the hardest setting. With this DLC being a decent length I would definitely recommend this over Gears 5 to players who haven't played Gears for a while. It's easy to jump in and have fun without needing to know any stories from past Gears of War games. I would have liked a new type of locust to be introduced and the AI during stealth parts need to be a lot smarter. Overall Hypebus has delivered some of the best chapters from Gears of War. Some great chemistry between Team Scorpio and solid supporting characters. I really hope we don't have to wait another 9 years for another DLC campaign. But more importantly, please please let the next one be about the Carmine family. I think it would be such a good story to go through. Definitely worthy of a download now. I would honestly recommend High Busters even if you have no interest in playing the latest Gears 5 campaign. It won't take too much of your time, but packed with high third person shooting action you've come to expect from the Gears of War. And there we have it guys, that's my Game Pass review of High Busters. So let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, why not check out my other Game Pass review on Gears Tactics. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, GG's.